Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here. And today what I'm gonna, gonna be covering in this video is a review for the tool and service called Bright Local. So what we're gonna be talking about is what this tool is, how you can benefit from it if you're an SEO consultant or an SEO agency. And I'm actually gonna walk you through the tool and show you some of the features, um, kind of go through just all the different functionality and everything that you get inside of a Bright Local system. One thing to keep in mind, um, I will also leave a link um, in the video description or depending on where you're watching this if it's on my blog I'll leave a link to that and you can actually get a free trial to go test this out for yourself and give it a test drive um, you know try out all the features and give this thing a shot it is one of the best local SEO tools that I've ever used so I'm really hoping to give you guys a full-on idea of what you can expect out of bright local let's first go through the sales page and then I'll actually bring you inside um, the bright local dashboard and I'll walk through some of the features and functionality so as you can see here, it's really designed for SEO agencies, SEO freelancers, or if you're a regular local business, you could also use Bright Local, you know, to basically get more, um, you know, traction for your local business just to kind of track and see what's going on. So um, whether or not you're a big agency, a freelancer, or an actual business, this tool is going to be beneficial for you. In terms of all the features, um, you've got um, the ability to track rankings across all the major search engines. You can audit your citations for um, name, address, and phone number, otherwise known as NAP. So if there's inconsistencies on like Yelp or Yellow Pages, Manta, any of these popular websites where you want your business listed, you're going to be able to find those inconsistencies. You can also audit your Google My Business profile and find gaps, um, areas that need improvement or need to be fixed. You've got white label reporting, so if you're a freelancer or an agency, you can actually throw your own branding inside of Bright Local, and you know basically your clients won't have any clue that you're using Bright Local if you decide to do that. You've also got um, some functionality to clean up and fix existing citations, um, as well as building new citations right through the Bright Local uh, platform, so I'll show you that. You can monitor your online reviews and you know kind of keep track of new reviews that are coming in. You can respond to them all right inside the tool. They also have some sales and audit reports, so if you wanted to wow a potential prospect, you're a freelancer or an agency, you can actually go out there and run these audit reports, and this is really what's going to allow you to start closing some sales by showing people where the issues are and um, the good and the bad about what's going on with their website and their business. You also have the capability to use unlimited users, so there's no um, caps on people logging in at the same time. They, they don't limit you there, so you can have as many employees as you want logging into the platform. So let's actually dive in. I'm already logged in here in another web browser. And as you can see, the dashboard is very simple when you come in. You basically can set up um, you know, either clients or locations. So in this case, I have um, a single client. Right now I'm, I'm testing, I'll just use this as an example on this account. Bill Gordon and Associates is my client, which is a social security attorney. And we actually have two locations that I've been monitoring with this particular client. So if I go back to my locations tab, you can see I've got a Hoppage location and a Cherry Hill. And it also shows me the number of reports I've set up for each location. So I can track everything separately in terms of like rankings and performance. All of this stuff, it makes sense with a local business. If you're dealing with multiple locations, multiple clients, you have the capability of kind of seeing that from the main dashboard here. So once we go into um, the you know kind of the the deeper dive here, I can actually look and set up all kinds of different reports for this client. So this is kind of like your main dashboard where you're going to be spending most of the time. You've got all the main business information here. Um, so when you get started, you'll have a client um, you know basically provide all this info to you, or you can just pick it up. You can see here we use the location URL phone number, um, city address, all the information here that we need. And then it kind of gives you an idea of what you've set up. In this case, I didn't set up some of the social integrations, but I'll walk through all the different integrations and tools that you have here within Bright Local. So starting from the top, you have search rankings. So you can see here that I can basically get a chart view of any of the rankings for this particular um, location. I can see any increases in rankings. This one um, we're not seeing many results yet, so that's why there's not much data here. But we have uh, different keywords we put in, like Cherry Hill Disability Lawyer, Cherry Hill Social Security Attorney, so on and so forth. And I could track changes not only in Google organic results, but also the Google Map Pack. Um, I can search for top results only. I can do lots of filters. Um, they give you uh, an explanation of how this ranking is all tracked. 
And then you can also see as things progress, if I rerun this report, um, then I can basically get uh, an idea of what changed since the last time I ran it. So you can see here, if I could compare like the 20th to the 13th, um, if this did have some data we were ranking, then I'd be able to show you know, whether or not keywords changed in movement, if there were some new ones that came into the rankings, maybe they moved down or maybe they moved up and you know, positive in the rankings. You also have this tracker chart so you could kind of see like a chart graph. Um, again, it's not giving us any data because I don't have any rankings on these particular keywords, but this is ultimately what you're gonna get back here. Um, super useful to have this set up. One of the things that you can also do is you can run um, exported reports of this. So you can view an external version of this. And the great part about this is they white label all the reports. So they put them on this domain, local-marketing-reports.com. Um, and again, I could put in my own logo here. So instead of bright local, I could put in my company name and my logo. And then the client would have this awesome rank report, which is all virtual kind of um, interactive, just like the dashboard, where they can come in and see the rankings, um, kind of go through and change any of this as needed. So really cool white label capabilities there and all of the different solutions inside of bright local allow you to do this. Now, if we go back, we can also check um, their citations. So if I click on citation tracking, you can get like kind of this chart graph where you can see um, here are some of the ones that found, like here's the Google local, my business one, uh, yellow pages and any that are missing, I could actually go out and either pay bright local to get the citation for me. It usually runs about three bucks through them. Or you could always give this report to another service provider that offers citation services and tell them, Hey, we need citations on all these sites. Um, here's where we need to get things moving. So from here, ultimately, you can go in and update the citation yourself. It'll instantly bring you to that location. You could change status of the citations. You know, maybe you want to remove it. You could view existing citations. So here, for example, I could view this one it found on Yellow Pages for the Cherry Hill location. So I've got all that data there. And you know, that's kind of a basic glimpse of what you're going to get with the citation tracker. You can also filter by what's active. You can see the growth over time, which is really great for showing clients. You could say, hey, you know, we started this in January and now look at all the new sources we're adding over time. Um, you can also get tracking on the authority of the citation. So if you if you filter this by citation authority, you can see that the best citation sources are going to be listed. The highest being like Google, SlideShare, BBB, Yelp, so on and so forth. And it gives you kind of a value score based on how valuable these listings are whether or not they're free or paid to get into. Um, so this kind of gives you an idea, you know, if the client doesn't want to pay for the BBB listing, then obviously we're not going to go after that. But it would make sense to go after some of these other really high profile sites that are going to have higher citation authority. You can, if you can see here, if I sort by the lowest, some of these aren't going to carry as much weight and ultimately not be um, as powerful. We can also look at potential citations and this will show you, you know, exactly, you know, what competing businesses that you're going after some of your competitors where they're listed. So this is a great way to approach citations and bright local is going to make this super easy. You could take a list of your top five competitors and see, okay, here's where the other top five law firms in this case are ranking and where they're, where they have existing citations. We could take this report and, you know, give this to a service provider or virtual assistant, have them go out and build the ones that we're missing and build ones on sources that our competitors are on to really compete with them. So that's kind of a breakdown there. Again, you have the ability to look at public reports just like you would with the ranking. See here, it's the same exact kind of setup. So really cool white label integration there. You can also export a CSV, PDF. Um, you can rerun the reports or set them up to run on automation. All of the reports do that. So you could have it set up to like run every one week, every two weeks, you know, every month, whatever you want to do. Then you also have the ability to set up citation uh, campaigns for cleanup. So this is ultimately using the Bright Local service to get some of that stuff done for you. You can also track reviews and ratings. So you can see here, I, they um, this actually picked up a restaurant by accident, but um, this will give you an idea of how this works. Um, you can see it's got Yelp reviews here. And if it were to pick up anything else from say like Facebook or uh, any other source like Google, um, Google My Business, it will put it here and you can actually go in and see the reviews right inside those platforms and you can respond to the reviews right from this dashboard. You can even see how many new reviews you're getting over time. So this is a really cool feature. Um, if there's new reviews over a period of time, you'll be able to track that and track the growth 
Um, you can sort the reviews by the site. Um, if you're not getting any reviews off some of these sites, you can sync it up, make sure that that's synced. And again, you do have the white label capabilities there as well. You can also sort by rating. So this is really cool. In this case, um, I could sort by like one star all the way up through five and you can see the review sources. You can filter based on the number of stars. So you have lots of capabilities there. In terms of Google My Business, you have the capability of kind of looking at an overview of everything that you have going on here. So this is sort of the business details. You can see how many images you have, opening hours, um, NAP data. You can look for duplicates, an NAP comparison, and you can even look at other ranking factors such as like um, things like the city name being used in the title tag or the state code being used in the title tag. Fortunately, this client of mine never ended up implementing that. Um, so these are some things where um, you can even come in and start looking at who's ranking the best for the keywords you're going after. So you can kind of compare like we're really lacking on the citations for this particular location. So that's likely why we're not seeing so good a result versus some of the other businesses ranking really high. And you can kind of compare some of the data um, in terms of like inbound links, website authority. Um, they give you some data from Majestic, which is a popular, um, you know, backlinking tool that kind of gives you some additional data about the domain. You can look at photos, compare reviews. So you have everything you could possibly imagine here and you can dig into this based on um, up to numerous keywords. So it's a really, really great tool for just kind of an analyzing and seeing what's going on with the rankings. Then you've also got a local search audit. So this is kind of a comprehensive audit that takes a lot of the other systems and sort of combines them together. So this would be something where if you're gonna be doing prospecting, that's where it's gonna come into, into play. You know, you're trying to convince a business that, hey, you know, I can, I can show you what's going on and let's try to fix all this stuff. So it gives you an offsite SEO score, an onsite local SEO score, search ranking average in, in the organic results, local search rankings, Google local listing score and even a local directory score. So as it goes through, it gives you some basic data on each of these. Like you can see how old the domain is, linking domains. Um, you can get a breakdown of existing rankings. You can get your on-site SEO. It gives you some breakdowns of different things that you're doing for on-page content and link review. You can look at the local directory stuff. So it's kind of a glimpse into all the other tools that I just showed you. So it's really great for prospecting. And then you also have um, a newer functionality they added within the last year where you can connect your Google Analytics account and you could have a kind of dashboard view where you could see traffic. I don't actually have that connected on this account, but that's it's ultimately just going to pull Google Analytics data and you'll have all that information to go off of. You've also got social integration. You can add up Twitter and Facebook accounts and you could see growth of like Twitter followers, Facebook fans, things like that that you just may want to see and you can kind of get a basic idea of that. So it's more of a reporting tool than anything. You're not really going to be able to do a whole lot in terms of growing um, your social media accounts with this tool, but it's going to give you an idea of how things are performing. And then beyond that, you know, you just have your basic settings. Um, you could change things like where the report's going to go. You could choose not to have certain reports show up in the dashboard for the client. Um, you know, so you've got a lot of options here in terms of what you want. So it's really just a glorified mass tool here that you can come in and utilize a lot of these. Some of the other things you can do, I did want to mention was the review biz and review flow tools. You can create like this really cool little badge. Um, let me see if uh, there's probably a video on how this works. So more or less you could create a badge. This is kind of a sample of it, a little tough to see in the video, but it will create like a little widgetized badge with a bunch of links. So you could have a link that says something like review us on Google and the link could actually go into a Google My Business page or a Yelp page. Nice little addition to add into a client site. You can even add in your own backlink to your own agency or consulting website if you wanted to build some backlinks from your client site since you're working with them. You've also got the review flow um, option here, so you can go in and this is where you get all the review stuff I showed you earlier, but a lot of these are accessed from this tools area. So that's kind of a basic rundown of Bright Local. Again, in terms of if I think this tool is worth it, yes, it's definitely worth it. I did want to come back and show you, if you go to the pricing, this is extremely affordable if you're looking to get set up with a few locations for just 20 bucks a month, you can monitor up to three locations. So this is great for like single businesses or someone that's just working with a small number of clients. 
And then once you really get going, you can actually go up to the multi-business and you're gonna get all the white label capabilities and you're paying a very affordable rate to be able to get the access to do up to six locations with um, a lot more extensive like keyword reporting and citation information, things like that. You can really crank that out and get a lot more out of it. As you can see, you could do like more review generation badges, things like that. Um, I've been using the, the tool on and off for a few years and I will say that they do update it all the time. You can see that they're very readily available on support. Like here's a, um, hey there, just wanted to see if you need any help and any questions. Um, I've been able to call them on the phone and talk to them. They have tons of training material. You can get a live demo walkthrough of everything that they have. So, I mean, there's no lack of support and help that you can get from this tool. Um, again, hope you guys decide to check it out. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave a comment or um, just send me a message and I'll be glad to help.